What's up, everybody? How you doing? Joe here in the workshop on a Thanksgiving Eve day. <laughs> and uh, sitting back smoking some Blue Ridge from my boys at uh, Uptowns in one of my pokers I made for myself with the camo stem and everything. Uh, it's kind of chilly. In the workshop right now, it is 56 degrees. So I bundle up, layer up. Got a heater down here, but uh, just kind of kicked it on first thing this uh, morning, I guess. Here in Nashville, we've uh, we had some snow around the area yesterday, and temperatures got down in the teens. And I think they're going to do that again tonight. But at least the sun has come back out. Nice and sunny for Nashville this weekend. I know there are a lot of folks around our country up along the eastern seaboard having some tough travel times, I guess, because of uh, the weather and everything. We wish them all the best and hope if you're going to be traveling, you get to your destination A-OK. -okay. Today is supposed to be Wednesday. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving is supposed to be the busiest travel day of the year. More people travel on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving than on any single day of the year. Then over the weekend, people are coming back, but it's kind of spread out over Saturday, Sunday, Monday, kind of like that. But I uh, hope if you're going anywhere that you uh, are safe and have safe travel. Uh, just wanted to say, come on and say how thankful I am to all of you uh, for watching, to all of you who are my subscribers. And uh, there's over 3,000 of you, and man, I'm just humbled at the fact that you'd want to watch this little channel. That's the, that's the YouTube channel. And, um, and I'm especially thankful for those of you who are my customers who have purchased or ordered Joe Case Pipes. I am and have been just blown away over you know, the, the couple of years or more that I've been doing pipes now. Uh, at just how my particular kind of pipe, style of pipe, make of pipe has, has I guess, been attractive to folks. And the fact that so many of hundreds of you have ordered. And I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful and blessed that, that if I figured it all up from selling on Etsy and other places and around that, I've sold over 500 pipes in the couple of years I've been doing this, and I'm just blown away. Now, I'll have to admit to you something, you know, just true confession. I, I was not prepared for that, to be honest with you, and probably underestimated the time it would take to get some pipes done because of all the numbers of orders that have come in. But I tell you what I am especially thankful for are those of you who understand and are willing to say, hey, Joe, man, when, when take your time. When you get to it, great. Because um, I don't want to rush a product out. I really don't. And I know I'm in business. And I'm here to, to you know, make money for me and my family or whatever. Of course, this is no get-rich-quick scheme at all. <laughs> I will tell you that. Most, most pipe makers in my caliber would tell you that as well. But... It's just, you know, it's a labor of love for folks to put out something that they enjoy. And then I am also thankful for the many of you who have been repeat customers. That has been just a big thrill and, and what has told me that, hey, I'm evidently on the right mark with, with a lot of you guys. And for those of you who are having to wait longer than you had previously been told or thought, Man, I, I'm with you. I, I'm as frustrated as you are uh, about it. But again, I was just overwhelmed with the number of orders. And then not factoring, because this, this has been new to me too, you know, as far as the, the business side of it, trying to make sure everything. And I'm a one-man band, with the exception of my shipping. I have someone who, who does my shipping for me. But other than that, everything else is up to me. And, and keeping orders straight and, and everything, wow, it's just been... A year of learning. I've got some other processes that we may put into place for the next year that may improve the whole order thing. And uh, my goal is to to keep keep turning out pipes, to keep turning them out. Number one for fulfilling orders, 
Number two, to be able to make new pipes that I can look at as the possibility of putting those up on the order list to be ordered by people. And it gives me a creative outlet as well. So thank you again. I'm so thankful. Thank the, the good Lord for, for allowing me the, the ability to, to create something with my hands. Uh, I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, if, if, if ever I do something and, and the pipe doesn't turn out uh, uh, as planned or whatever, or maybe there's a defect that pops up in it that even I didn't see or whatever, you know, my motto is, is I want to make it right. So uh, I think I've, of the 500 or so pipes I've sold, I've had maybe three that uh, have had to do that with. And uh, I appreciate those people who've contacted me back about that. And, and uh, so I'm thankful for that as well. As strange as that may seem, I'm thankful for that, to be able to give, be given the opportunity to, to make it right. I um, enjoy coming up with new creations. And uh, yesterday I, I did one. Uh, this uh, is, I, I got a piece of strawberry briar from Chris Morgan, who um, not only does he make great pipes, but he also sells briar on the side. Um, and it, this was a piece of strawberry briar. Now, my understanding is what Chris told me is strawberry briar has a, is, a, is a softer, especially the in the softer wood, it, 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 it blasts a lot better. Well, I will tell you, that that is it, it it was amazing take take a look at this look at that that blast on this pipe this is kind of a cutty shape but with kind of a tulip flare just a slight tulip flare around the the top of it but look at that grain that uh is on there even on the shanks a big deep grain there veins if you will and all the way around the way it blasted up even on the on the top of it I did a, uh, this is, I handmade this uh, acrylic stem. I put an inlay. I don't know if you can see it very carefully, but see how the, it's kind of a cream, but, but it's a, uh, it's got a dimensional effect in that uh, cream inlay, if you'll see that. And then, of course, back to the black acrylic and then a strip there of natural briar that's uh, slightly stained just to make it a little bit darker in my stamping on the bottom. This one sold uh, yesterday or last night actually after I finished it late yesterday but I really love uh, love that love that strawberry briar on there and I understand that it's a, a fantastic smoking briar um, but anyway thanks uh, Chris for turning me on to that and uh, sending that uh, to me and um, hey it's just a just a great piece I, en I enjoyed making that one so that is it for right now. Just wanted to come on and say how thankful I am to the, the groups of folks that I, I mentioned a second ago. I'm so thankful and blessed to have a wonderful family, uh, such wonderful friends um, out there, some guys I Skype with from time to time. And, um, and it's, just, uh, it's just been a, a blessing this year. We've had our ups and downs, of course, in anything, in any relationships or whatever. I'm thankful beyond all measure, of course, for my lovely wife, Pam, who without her and her support for me to, to do this, it would just I, I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to do it. She's offered numerous times to come down and help me do stuff. And I'm gonna figure out a way to put her to work, I'll tell you, I, I, <laughs> I need to. Um, but uh, I, I put my daughter to work, my, my youngest daughter, Chelsea, uh, comes to our house once a week and and takes care of all the shipping. I ship out once a week. It's usually she comes on a Sunday, comes back over, prepares everything, gets it out, and it hits the mailboxes on Monday. So if you ever wondered about that, and um, but I, I'm I'm so thankful, thankful uh, for health and happiness, and and uh, I just I could go on and on and on of the things I am so thankful for. But I'm I'm thankful that you sat through this and and watched this. Um, I really, again, appreciate your business, appreciate your kindness, appreciate your thoughts and prayers during my, my time of my uh, brother's death uh, a few days ago and funeral and everything. I had to speak at the funeral. That was tough. It was, it was really tough to do. But the uh, good Lord gave me uh, something good to say. Matter of fact, real quickly, uh, the, the folks who, who were his caregivers, you know, he was institutionalized for all his life because of brain damage. And uh, on his birthday in October, the caregivers had given him a watch. Well, 
right after they gave him the watch, he he got sick and went into the pneumonia thing and, and whatever, and uh, then subsequently passed away. But um, the caregivers, before the funeral, came up and said, we wanted to give you this for you to have it. You're his brother. We want you to have it. It was a watch. And, I mean, it kind of choked me up. And uh, so I just uh, I kind of spoke at the funeral when I was asked to, to say a few words by the, the, the lead minister of the funeral. Um, and I just spoke about how you know I got that watch and thanked them for it and how my brother now uh, uh, knows no time. There's no time where he is anymore in the in the realm of heaven. And I thought you know I spoke on that and that was that was really cool that I was able to to do something like that. But thanks uh, so many of you for your for your messages and and comments and calls and everything uh, for for uh, your condolences for my brother and my family. So, thanks a lot. Have, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Don't shop too much. And uh, I'll be back in the shop on, on Friday and working away while my wife probably goes shopping. But <laughs> that's the way it goes. God bless you all. We hope you have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next time.